Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel on French with Anubha. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with the same textbook which we are doing since past few months, which is on Vision Class 9. And today we are starting with the last chapter of it. Lesson 12. So the name of 12th lesson is La Francophonie. We will be discussing the meaning of the word francophonie shortly. This is the part 1 video. All my other videos which are based on this particular textbook are present in the playlist titled Ontogen Class 9. The link to the playlist is given in the description box below. So we are on page number 131 of this textbook and let's begin. So, on page number 131, we can clearly see that there is a world map, right? On that world map, heading is given, Population francophone dans les pays de l'OIF. So, francophone population, the French-speaking population in the countries of International Organization of Francophonie, OIF. Organisation Internationale de Francophonie. Simple. So there is Algeria, Etats Uni, Israel, Val d'Aost. So Algeria, USA, Israel, uh, then uh, Valley of Aost, like that. Pourcentage uh, de Francophone. There's a small box, like you may call it the legend of a map. Right, here we have the percentages and the color allocated to it. So the lightest color is like more the sand person. Then 5 to 15 is a bit darker. Then 16 to 35 is even darker. 36 to 60% is orange. And uh, blue the Swazon person, uh, more than 60% is red. So like the place where the color is red, there we have more than 60% French speakers. Then orange ones are like 36 to 60% like that. They have marked in this map. Fine. Let's begin reading the text given here. La Journée Internationale de la Francophonie est une célébration mondiale de l'Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie qui a lieu le 20 mars chaque, chaque année. So, this day lies on 20th of March. Uh, as in French, uh, it's like 20th Mars. Right. So, this International Day of Francophonie, it's a global celebration, mondial, global celebration. Uh, of l'Organisation Internationale, the International Log Organization de la Francophonie, of Francophonie, qui a lieu la 20 mars chaque année, which takes place on 20th of March every year. La mot Francophonie, okay, so now we will be discussing the meaning of the word Francophonie. La mot Francophonie a été créée à la fin de... 19e siècle par le géographe Onésime Reclus. So this word francophonie was created by at the end of the 19th century by the geographer Geograph. Geograph is geographer fine. And the name of the geographer Onésime Reclus. So this geographer created this word at the end of 19th century. La francophonie avec un F majuscule. Majuscule, M-A-J-U-S-C-U-L-E is nothing but the uppercase. So F should be majuscule. So the word francophonie with F capital is designed together by the francophone world is uh, designed together by the uh, French-speaking world, du monde francophone, 
C'est-à-dire les dépendants des pays et régions où le français est la langue maternelle ou d'usage, langue officielle, administrative, scolaire, etc. So, when do we use this word? It is used for different countries or regions where French is the mother tongue, langue maternelle, langue maternelle, mother tongue, ou, or, d'usage, or, for usage, like long official, official language, for administrative work, uh, purpose, or scholar, for schooling, fine. Il s'agit uh, d'une expression géographique et de regroupement géopolitique. Fine. So it's an expression, it's a geographical expression, or, and, a grouping, geopolitical grouping. Okay, fine. So it's a geographical expression and an expression used for uh, grouping in a geopolitical manner. Uh, for geopolitical grouping, fine. So, l'adjectif francophone. The adjective francophone désigne l'ensemble des locteurs qui utilisent le français comme langue maternelle ou comme langue d'usage. So, francophonie, we have discussed. Now, what does francophone mean? Francophone is a word which means the, like, the different speakers. Basically, all the speakers who use French as their mother tongue, langue maternelle, ou comme langue d'usage, or for usage purposes like administrative, official, schooling, like that. So those people are known as francophone. Like you are learning French, you are francophone. I am standing here uh, talking in French, uh, teaching French. I am francophone, I'm speaking in French. So yeah. Fine. Francophone. Une personne qui parle le français. So, francophone simply means a person who speaks French. Adjective, qui parle français. Someone who speaks French. Le français est la sixième langue la plus utilisée sur la planète. So, French is the sixth most spoken language in the world. Sixth most. Sixième. I don't know the present data. The book is a bit old, so I don't know the present looking at uh, the position of French speakers, number of French speakers, but as for this book, it is CZM, sixth language, sixth most uh, spoken language in the world. The source is www.diplomatie.gov.fr, so the name of the website is also given. That's really nice. Talking about the page number 132, uh, we have a trois questions. Fine. So, number one. Regard la carte du monde ci-dessus. So, look at the map given above. Here is the world map. Fine. Now, fills you a phase you list the pays francophone. So, you need to make a list of francophone countries, French-speaking countries. Let's make it. La Luxembourg, Luxembourg, La Suisse, Switzerland, La Congo, Congo, La Belgique, Belgium, and La Canada, Canada. So for this question, this particular question, you may write five countries. You may write even more by looking at the map given here. Fine. And of course, La France. Uh, it's need not to be even mentioned because French is the main place where 
Francis Focal, right? Francis the Maintain. So, Francis, of course, coming in this list. Love ones. In fact, it should come at the top. So, these were the countries where French speakers are there, in which French is either the mother tongue or French is used for official purposes or for schooling, etc. Fine. Moving to the next question. Nam quelqu'un pays où le français est la langue officielle. So you need to mention some countries where French is an official language. So of course we have France. In France, or La France, French is an official language. We have Canada. We also have Belgium. Belgium. And lastly, we have Senegal. Uh, S E N E G A L. So in France, Canada, Belgium, and Senegal, French is an official language. There must be even more. So you can look up on net countries where French is an official language, and you may write even more for this particular question. Moving towards the third question. Third question is, est en Inde ou est-ce qu'on parle le français? Fine. So, and in India, where one speaks French? See, like French, where French is spoken in quite large scale, in India, there's only one place, Pondicherry. Now, you may think that uh, you are in different, different parts of India and uh, your school is having French, so why isn't your city or your place mentioned here? Because it's not like a major language, right? Like only till some particular uh, schooling level only it's there. Uh, and it's not like an official language or like a mother tongue. But in Pondicherry, French is spoken in quite a uh, significant manner. So that's why only Pondicherry can come for this question. If you pronounce it in the French manner, it will be like Pondicherry, like C-H O sound and then the accent. So Pondicherry. So Pondicherry is the city in India where we speak French. Fine. Uh, moving to the next thing, Lila Curiel Sidasu. So the email we will be reading in my next video. Now we can just discuss about this picture. So this picture depicts a mosque situated in Tuba, must be some city in Senegal. La mosquée, mosquée, mosque, a Tuba, in Tuba, a city in Senegal. So again, you may have a look of the picture. I would like to hold here because I want to start from next page in my next video. So, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel on French with Anubha. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name on French with Anubha. See you in uh, lesson 12. La Francophone Part 2. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que la langue française est l'amour.